Hi guys, my name is Shiko. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time, guys. Anyway, today I'm going to be telling you guys about how I got COVID. Yes, I had COVID. So it's been a while since I posted and it's because I've been really, really busy running around, but um, I'm really trying to be consistent. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to be doing this um, so I can be posting frequently and still manage my time anyway so i'm gonna tell you guys about how i got covid because guys it was horrible it was the worst thing i've ever experienced i mean really it's just i think maybe because i've seen how it is with other people and i've seen um how it's affected everybody um who's had it and also those who haven't had it, had it and this and the, you know that just the fear of getting it so i think that even made it worse anyway so um Everything was going on normal. I was going to work and then home and then work and then um, doing my own stuff. And then one day just feel, I started feeling um, kind of tired, more tired, you know. Not the usual tired like when you get off work and you're tired. I started feeling in the morning I'm just exhausted. And it's not like the kind of tired that you, um, you work, work and then you feel tired. It's the kind of like your body can't do it. Like you just wake up and you feel, if you've had malaria, you know how your joints hurt and you, you like you, you hear um, like a, a, a buzzing sound in your ear or something like that. That's how it was for me. So I remember it was in um, January and um, I started feeling funny. I started feeling tired and then I felt like I'm having like a, like an uh, analogy and I was, first of all, I didn't even think it was COVID. I had it was not even in my mind, by the way. I didn't even think that it would be, um, that was what was bothering me. So, Nilika to even Kanzakuskia, I'm tired and like I'm sick, I'm sickly, sickly. And then I started feeling um, um, like I have something in my throat, in Yahitoki, or even if I cough, it's not moving. It's just like a sore throat that's not stop any, it's nothing is making it better. And then Nikanzakuskia, um, so I was wondering like what's this this whole time I just care about it's COVID because the symptoms I think Nikama symptoms are everybody they're just different you know somebody is saying our oh, lens and then another one is like well lens and homa other people by the way they just start feeling like they can't they start um they, they are unable to breathe you know it's just different for everybody but for me that's how it started for me and then um so I was wondering like what's going on and then um I, I was really really scared of getting tested because then you guys people were just dying with covid and others come but they're not dying they're using one and one um one echo what is it called um anyways so what it's called like they, they need something to help them breathe and i was like oh my god like i can't do that i, I don't think my body can go through that so um i was really scared you know i love when you can imagine that and then i was like no there's no way i'd get covid you know for some reason by the way um a lot of people started thinking oh if you're from africa then you can't get it i know it's just it's 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 um ignorant but really that's what people were saying and i was like yeah maybe i can't get it because people were saying articles at you but it's really um a vaccine at tb like the ones that we're giving at home or that there are some vaccinations that we we'd had in africa in kenya that is um which would make us um a bit immune to this um covid so me i was like I didn't think that matter. So, but then I still had to go get tested. So the thing was, my, my fear was, um, I was going to get sick. I don't know how it's going to be for me because it's different for everybody. When I put them into a a COVID, they get tested when I'm be Konayo, but then they are fine. Like they're not even feeling anything. And then you find someone who has COVID and they just have a cold. And then you have someone else who has COVID and they can't even breathe and they're using, um, why do I keep forgetting that name? Like they can't breathe at all, you know? And, and others are just dying. Like their the whole body is just shutting down. So I was like, Kai, how is it gonna be for me, you know? And then um, and then another thing is that when you have COVID or when you have even symptoms, you can't work. You, you can't go to work anymore. So I mean, how, how, how will I, you know, how will I manage? How will I survive? I can't go to work. You know, I'm gonna be sick. You know, it's just, it was just, it was, it was just horrible. And then so I decided let me just go get tested. So I went and got tested and guys, 
the tests were positive right there. And I, I did the rapid test first. So there's the rapid test and the, the, there's the PCR. So I was like, no, I can't be having COVID. And let me just wait. I said, let me just do the long test, which takes like four, four to three days results to come. So I did that one and I got the results back and it was positive this whole time. I was just hoping and praying that it's not. So I had to tell my bosses that um, I was positive. So I, I, did, I couldn't work. So here, when you're working, um, you get paid every every two weeks right so covid um they said that you have to stay home for 10 days to um to quarantine so um i was wondering sir if i stay home for two weeks which means because it's two weeks oh, 10 days home, okay let's say it's just like two weeks yeah so i was like how will i how will i manage you know these two weeks it's a long time without working you know and even um how will i be able to um i mean how will i feel you know i was just scared i hadn't accepted that i have covid at that time and then now after that was kumbi that was just like you know the whole first week i was scared like tired but like homa and to feel like na block um kifua that was just the beginning so that was the first week so the second week as any was like after nimejua nikomgonjwa that's when it got worse for me so I started feeling like pain in my chest. I, whenever I breathe in, I feel like I'm, I'm being burnt, like the, like I'm breathing hot air in and it's burning my lungs. I was like, oh my God, this is it, guys, this is it. I was like, oh my God, just how could this, you know, I was like, oh my God, I'm dying. And I'm dying in January. I was born in January. You know, guys are going to be saying um, she was born in January and she died in January. I was like, oh God, no, this can't be happening. And then I started feeling, oh God, the headaches, they were just horrible. I had headaches and they couldn't stop. I used to take painkillers. They're not, you know, the headaches were just there. I don't know if you can imagine, if you can painkillers, they're just there. I pungui, it's just constant. And then I started, Nikanza Kushindoku breathe. So now this was it, guys. I was just like, I was, it was just so bad. I was sleeping under the, um, the what is it the fun so i can be able to breathe and then the funny thing was that there was someone else who was sick with me too and they were okay they were it, i'm telling you they were kabisa they were fine they were just i'm just wondering how are people feeling sick and i'm just fine i'm like okay you're just lucky because me i feel like this is it for me like it's a wrap so um i couldn't breathe guys my chest hurt um, my throat hurt I, it was just horrible it was just horrible and the headaches and just the fatigue like you're waking up and you feel tired you've just woken up but you feel exhausted like your bones are hurting your shoulders your neck my you know it was just horrible my ribs my chest my knees everything was just hurting and um so I was just, you know, and then my mom was just calling me, asking me, how are you doing? I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm doing better. Um, I'm not feeling bad at all that time. I'm just, I'm feeling like I'm dying, guys. I was just, it was just, it was the worst, really, it was the worst time of my life having COVID. I'm telling you, both emotionally and physically. So, um, so I started taking some medications. I took zinc and vitamin C. And I also took um, some antibiotics and some, um, anti two C's just because of you know your cocoa and stuff and I also took um what else did I take and then I took um the concussion yeah ginger garlic and um and lemon and um it also had some pineapple skin the the ngozia mananasi and I started feeling kind of better after taking that but before I took that well you know I don't like I really don't like ginger so I hesitated to take it, but then I started taking it and I started feeling a, a bit better and a bit better. And um, I still felt, I still felt the, the kifua thing. And then whenever I walked, like at a, even if I'm walking like six steps, I couldn't, I had to stop because I couldn't walk and breathe. Now it was, you see how you walk? Like now I'm breathing and talking, right? For, uh, at that time, I couldn't, I couldn't talk and breathe at the same time. I, I had to just either breathe first and then talk. And whenever I was walking, I had to stop and breathe first because... It was becoming, you know how you just breathe, you know, without even thinking. It's just, it's automatic, yeah? For me, it wasn't like that. I couldn't, I couldn't just breathe. I had to, like, concentrate on breathing. I was even trying to do the breathing exercises because I'd seen someone on CNN saying that they, they tried breathing. But whenever I tried to breathe in, it was like I was burning. It was just horrible, guys. It was just so bad. So I started taking the, um, the, the medications I'm telling you guys about and I started kind of feeling better but the effect stayed for a long time even after and then I went to get back I went to get tested again after um, two weeks and 
the results the results were still positive because i went to a drive through testing and then after like maybe three four days i got tested again and the results were negative finally so i was like thank god i can go back to work my life can go back to normal but the thing is that i still couldn't breathe and talk at the same time i couldn't breathe and walk at the same time so it was just hard for me because i had to stop i had to try and start breathing again and the effect stayed on for so long guys it stayed it stayed almost like for a month I do, that's why I'm saying it's different for everybody because I haven't had anybody okay I haven't talked to a lot of people who had COVID but for me it was just weird because I haven't had anybody saying um, such a thing before because I was still having the issue with breathing and feeling like my chest is burning and then so um, I still continue taking the medication and after after even after that I try and take oh I also took um, vitamin D3 which is really good so I started taking um, even after that I'm still taking the vitamins the vitamins and I'm also taking the um, the what is it called the antibiotics once in a while just in case and I'm really trying um, to take the concussion although it just tastes horrible guys I wouldn't take it unless I knew that I was gonna get sick yeah that's horrible but yeah I don't like it at all so that was my experience with covid right now i know that at home there there's a lot of outbreaks for covid and i've heard a lot of people who've died a lot of people who i know have passed away and it's just horrible and sad that um such a virus that just came out of nowhere could just come and take your loved one like that so i really feel bad for the families who lost their people because of this covid and the best thing you guys can do really is just to avoid um crowded places and also to wash your hands a lot not even most not even don't even concentrate on on the sanitizing just wash your hands with soap and water and also um wear your mask like wear your mask because i was at home the other day i was at home am i kidding the other day not the other day i was at home last year and a lot of people are not even putting on their masks you know they meet their friends and they take off their ma masks right there and then but guys, this thing is real and a lot of people are dying. Like I'm even lucky that I, I survived it, you know. And um, you just have to put on your mask and wash your hands and really avoid crowded places. It's just for your own good, guys. It's not about even the government or, or whatever anybody's saying or any political stuff. It's just about you. If you want to leave, if you, if you don't want to go through that, because it still has effects on you, you know, on your lungs and stuff like that. So you better, you just have to like really be careful even... Um, being close to people that you you um you used to or people that you know um yeah that was my experience with covid and I, i'm really really hoping that i don't get it again right now i'm, I'm really looking into getting um the vaccine i'm trying to see um if i can register for the oh wow hold on yeah i'm really trying to see if i can register for the for the vaccine so i can be able to go and get it I mean, I'm trying to get an appointment so I can get the vaccine so I don't have to worry about that again because I'm really scared, guys. At this point, I don't even want to know what people are saying about the vaccine, scaring people off, but I just want this vaccine because I, I cannot, I don't think my body can go through that again. So be careful, guys. Wash your hands, put on your mask. Don't take off your masks at all and be really careful. This thing is really bad. It's killing people. It's, it's you know, it's it's getting you through a hard um, a hard time that you don't really have to if you you really care for you know it's better you get it um by accident than um knowing that you were careless and then you die or you get really sick and suffer you know anyway so that's all i'm gonna tell you guys today about my um my experience with the virus um yeah thank you so much for watching guys please please subscribe and also like and comment and thank you thank you so much guys thank you so much for all those people who've subscribed i'm so grateful guys thank you um and i'm gonna be seeing you guys very soon again thank you guys